Hey, it's Scott Kubo. So some of you had requested to see how Navigate on Autopilot works in the rain. And it's been pretty rainy lately in Southern California where I live, so let's try it out. Uh, as you see, we turned Autopilot on. And when we also turn on Navigate on Autopilot, uh, the car will follow its uh, navigation to the destination that we have uh, put in. This is a Tesla Model 3. And let's turn Navigate on Autopilot on, just like that. You hear the chime, and now there's a blue line indicating the path the vehicle wants to take. So far, so good, no problems. Uh, there's a little warning there, I think it got concerned because this lane splits into two. And then construction detected, navigate on autopilot limited. So it's pretty cool, it's, the cameras saw those cones and uh, that limits the lane changing because you wouldn't want autopilot to uh, take that exit that was blocked off. Now let's take a look at the footage from the built-in dash cam, forward facing camera, it sees pretty well. Um, the wipers and the raindrops don't really seem to get in the way. Um, even if visibility is reduced though, at least for, for forward uh, vehicles, um, the radar would be able to detect them pretty well. So autopilot says confirm lane change to move to the faster lane. So it sees this slow truck up here and wants to overtake to the left. Uh, we can confirm by lightly pressing the turn signal and it makes that lane change very smoothly and, and promptly. Very, very good, no problems. Overall, and how it's doing uh, visually identifying vehicles around it, you know, it seems to be very similar to how well it works uh, when there is no rain. So, so far, so good. Okay, so now Autopilot wants to change lanes to the right. Uh, we can confirm that by also uh, tapping lightly on the drive stock and it makes that lane change very smoothly. Of course there aren't a lot of cars around at the moment uh, so that was pretty straightforward and it handles it well. Now this big truck coming up, sometimes autopilot uh, will display these vehicles as two instead of one and I think that's because the different cameras have different views of the same truck and it's hard to merge those multiple images into one. up to an exit here it wants to take this fork wow it really saw that before I was able to see that that's pretty good it did that uh, without any intervention so that was not bad and now we're taking the exit it says uh, autopilot will disengage in uh, a certain number of feet and there you hear the chime now we're back in regular autopilot um, and the car is not following navigation. Currently, Navigate on Autopilot only works on divided highways. Uh, we can manually initiate a, a auto lane change like so. Very good. Car will come to a stop. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, we've got some moderately heavy rain here. Uh, some big drops. Sorry for the uh, noise. Uh, but I wanted you to hear the uh, the raindrops. And um, we've got Navigate on, Autopilot on. As you can see, the uh, blue path uh, going down the center lane. And the rain's kind of picking up, uh, getting a little louder here as we go. And we've got this vehicle coming in front of us, and Autopilot slows down for it well. And then we should be taking this uh, exit up here, according to the map. Let's see how it does. Okay, goes to the right at the fork on its own. Very good. Uh, slowing down a bit as we uh, come onto this ramp. It doesn't adjust speed for the rain, unfortunately. Yet. Okay, it says uh, poor weather detected. Navigate on autopilot limited. So I think as the rain was picking up. Um, uh, the cameras detected the poor weather and now it won't do automatic lane changes. But this also occurs if it's not raining and you turn the wipers on to a really fast setting. So navigate on autopilot is off. Let's try some manual lane changes and we'll bring up the uh, rear facing side camera which is part of the built in uh, dash cam feature and um, the view is pretty clear. There's a lot of 
fine rain and mist and the auto wipers are going pretty crazy as you can see uh, but the view looking uh, rearward is, is pretty good uh, however they designed the camera and the aerodynamics um, I think that's one of the reasons why it's able to do these lane changes better than expected in the rain somebody could uh, do something about the rear facing uh, backup camera the raindrops are pretty bad so we use the turn signal to initiate the lane change it moves over uh, smoothly this truck is coming up from behind but it's pretty far away so uh, no problems all of this uh, you know mostly operating just as if it uh, weren't raining at all again another lane change here and um, does that very smoothly. So we got this orange car coming up from behind, we're doing a lane change, and you can see it detects it in the blind spot. There's a red indicator and it won't change lanes. And now as the path is clear, it changes lanes on its own. No intervention on my part. Uh, that worked exactly as designed. Very happy with that. All right, we got some more vehicles overtaking. Uh, going pretty fast uh, despite the rain but at least they're overtaking on the left uh, and uh, want to change over here uh, to move to the left uh, go after this truck here and initiate that it's starting to uh, change lanes uh, here we go and then a little hesitation there and back and then it completes that I think it saw that a car coming up fast on the left and wasn't sure if that was going to end up in the blind spot. This seems to happen even when it's not raining, so I think Autopilot is just very cautious uh, to fast moving objects. You know, I've tried anti-fog treatments and anti-rain treatments and I can't find anything that will work for the uh, backup camera in the rain. Rain is uh, letting up here a bit. Okay, and just like that, Navigate on Autopilot comes back on wants to change out of the passing lane, so we'll confirm that. And it canceled. I think it saw a vehicle, or thought it saw a vehicle in the blind spot, or um, it detected this slower SUV up ahead in our lane, and it won't change out of the passing lane if there's a slower vehicle ahead of you. Here, uh, sometimes when you're driving along, you run into these uh, puddles that kick up a lot of rain. Curious how that affects this guy just went through one. Here we go. Yeah, okay. Um, you know, the uh, side facing, uh, rear facing cameras uh, seems to be not affected. Oh, that was a small one. I was curious how uh, that might uh, obscure the view of the cameras. The cars uh, also have uh, cameras on the B pillars uh, by the driver's side door that look uh, to the side and forward. And this guy went through. Here we go. Okay. You know, that was a decently good size one. Not bad, though. Uh, the cameras are really well positioned. Now, just as a reminder, uh, Autopilot is an additional feature that you have to pay for. Uh, basic Autopilot has uh, traffic aware cruise control and will stay in its lane, but the automatic lane changes and navigate on Autopilot that I just demonstrated part of the full self-driving package, uh, which is an additional cost. Well, that will about do it. If you're researching to uh, purchase a new Tesla and you found this video helpful and informative, uh, click on the link and find out how to get yourself uh, 1,000 miles free supercharging. I've enjoyed having you along for a drive. Hope you have a really great day and see you in the next video.